Today you're going to learn how to install extensions inside Atom so you can actually get ready for our course here. So as you can see I do actually have Atom open here on the left side and I do also have a basic index.html page open inside Atom. Now this is not something that you need to have, I just want to have it here to show you what exactly the extensions do when we install them and actually use them. And I'm also going to go ahead and show you how we can actually change the color scheme inside Atom since I know some of you might prefer a white background inside the editor. Again, the reason that the background is in fact dark is because it puts less strain on your eyes when you sit here and code for a long time. So I do recommend using a dark background for when you sit inside the editor. But again, it's up to you. Now in order to change the color theme inside Atom, you can go up into File, go down to Settings, and inside Settings we have something called Themes on the left side here. And in here you can see we can actually change the UI theme and the syntax theme inside the editor. So you can just click the drop down and then change it to light if that's what you want to. So you can try and mess around with the colors in here to see what you want to uh, use inside the editor. Also you can also install themes down here if you wish to. Again this is another option if you don't like the, the default themes inside the editor. So now you know how to change the theme inside Atom. So let's actually talk about how to install extensions. Now the first thing you should know is when it comes to installing extensions inside Atom, we need to do so using something called packages. The way we get into these packages is either by going to file, go down to settings again, and then down to install at the bottom here. Or if you want the shortcut, you can click control shift P and then write install. And then choose the second one where it says install packages and themes. And then we get to the same place. In here, we can go ahead and search for any kind of extension we might want to use inside Atom. The first one we're going to search for is one called Atom Beautify. If I spell that correctly, I think so. Search. And then you can see we get something called Atom Beautify. Now I did already install it. So you guys should have this install button on this extension here. So just go ahead and install it. Do bear in mind that once you do actually install an extension, you do need to restart the text editor in order for it to work. So we're going to go and do that after we're done installing the necessary extensions. Okay. So Atom Beautify, go ahead and install it. If you want to know a little bit more about this extension, for example, how to use it, then go ahead and click on the name here. And then you guys can see that it opens up inside the browser and we can actually go ahead and see all the different changes that were made to the extension and so on and so on and so on. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can actually see we have a guide that says how to actually use it. So if you're ever in doubt about how you actually use extensions, then go ahead and check it out inside the website. The second theme we're going to install is something called Atom Live Server. After it's done searching, you can go and install it. It's the second one down here called Atom Live Server, which is something that allows for us to update the browser as soon as we hit save inside Atom. So we don't have to go all the way to the browser and click the refresh button each time we need to see the changes inside the website, which is a really nice feature to have when you start developing using JavaScript or HTML and that sort of thing. So after installing these two extensions, go ahead and restart Atom by closing it and then open it up again like so. And then you can just go ahead and go out from the settings here. Now inside my index.html page, I would like to show you what exactly we did by installing these extensions. So the first thing I want to do is I would like to apply the Beautify extension to the document here because right now the code doesn't look that pretty yet because there's no spacing. I can't really see what's going on in here. So what I would like to do is I would like to click Control Shift P and then search for Beautify. And as you can see, we do actually get it as the second pop-up inside the search field. Now, of course, there's also a shortcut, so you don't have to go in here each time you want to make something prettier. And the same thing goes for the next extension. We don't actually have to go in here and activate the extension using the search tool. So instead, I'm going to go out and click Control alt b And as you can see, the entire document just got beautified, which means that everything actually looks a lot nicer than it did before. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it here so we make sure it actually looks like this. The second extension actually takes care of the browser here. So each time we save inside the text editor, it updates the browser without me having to go up and click refresh each time. So right now you can actually see that this text down here inside my JavaScript code actually goes in and replaces everything inside the body tag here, which means that instead of the H1 and the paragraph tag, it now says new text inside the browser. So what I would like to do here is I would like to change it from new text to something else. And in order to do that without having to refresh the browser, of course, we need to actually activate the extension we just installed. So again, I can go into Control Shift P, search for Live Server, 
Now, as you can see, it does actually have quite a few options, but the one you're interested in is the one called stop server and start server. So you can actually see the shortcuts for these ones. So control alt L and control alt Q. So if I were to go out again, control alt L, you can now see that it opens up a new tab inside the browser with the same website essentially. But the difference here is that this specific tab is gonna update itself each time I do actually save inside the text editor. So we can go ahead and close down the previous one here. Now, if I were to go in here inside my text editor and change the text and write something gibberish, save it, you can now see it updates inside the browser by itself. We don't actually have to go up here and click refresh each time, which is a huge time saver when you create huge projects inside the text editor. So this is what I want to show you guys when it comes to installing extensions and how to actually use them. In the next episode, you're going to learn how to actually set up JavaScript inside a document or inside a website so we can actually start using it inside the browser. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.